Analytics is very important. I can tell you all electronic records are going to have analytics as a back engine. It's going to be seamless. The users and the stakeholders won't even know what's happening in the background. So you're going to see data. There's going to be number crunching. When something's really important, all of a sudden you're going to see it right in front of you in a nice way. Things will be color coded perhaps. The fonts will be bigger or smaller. And then things that are not that important may remind you not every time, but maybe every other time or every third time. Do you know as a, So you can do subtle reminders and other things. So those are things that you really look for. Right at our hospital in Philadelphia, at Hahnemann University Hospital, we're part of a bigger system. And we have Crimson Continuum of Care, which is uh, uh, from the advisory board. Um, I think there are probably around maybe a thousand hospitals in the United States with um, uh, this application and when all the new physicians come on board I essentially show them and take them through Crimson. We have a lot of video tutorials and it really talks about things. I usually like to say you know you are a great physician and they all smile and they all agree. Nobody's ever disagreed. So I say this is the data that supports this. You know, your length of stay, your hospitalized infections, you know, your, um, all of your quality metrics, all of your utilization metrics, and then you can even drill down by admitting diagnosis such as uh, DRGs, ICD-10 codes. You can just look at people with certain types of insurances or everything but one type of insurance or whatever you want to do. And I say, you should look at your data every month so that I say patients have know all of your data, families know your data, insurance companies know your data, and newspapers know your data. The only one that doesn't know your data is you because we're in a healthy state of denial. And don't forget, as far as we get into a value-based uh, proposition for healthcare beginning you know, with MACRA in uh, 2019, it turns out that we're going to have to be able to demonstrate value and uh, you know, with MIPS and the alternative payment models, mm -hmm. it's going to be very important that analytics as far as bringing in not only clinical data but payer data and so on. Population health, we're going to need to know where people live. There's a lot of things called social factors of healthcare. Like we have, um, we actually were one of the first to put in, a, you could say this is analytics in, a, in the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, why do these asthmatics keep coming back, patients with asthma, into our emergency room? Well, it turns out one of our zip codes is just sort of like a corridor north of our hospital. and the income is probably the least in the whole city. So those folks are, you know, have special challenges and so on. So there's a lot in social determinants of healthcare. Our public health colleagues keep lots of data as far as uh, air quality, as far as all sorts of hygiene and so on. So you can tie a lot of this, the public health data to actually the quality of their health. To be on the competing edge or the competitive edge, you definitely should, I would definitely take analytics um, there's a lot of competition in the healthcare industry, certainly in our community. There's many, many hospitals. And really, patients expect that things are number or quantitative or you know, analytics driven and so on. Your students are going to learn, have to learn how to have good communication skills. They're going to have to, what does this mean? What do these numbers, how does this translate? When you start to get into the things like I just talked about, you're going to have to know all about what are the code sets, what are the standards, and that is just very important. So you gotta have all of that as an infrastructure going on, but uh, certainly um, data analytics is very important.